We're in a very humid rainforest biome at Eden Project to talk about the role of battery storage in a future energy system. Hi, my name's Gus Grand and I'm the Head of Policy um, at the Eden Project. The Eden Project is a large environmental charity and visitor attraction in the west of Cornwall. Eden's mission is to connect people with each other in the natural world, so renewable energy is a very, very important issue for us. Eden and Good Energy have been working together for a couple of years now and started fairly small looking at local supply with a project called Electricity. We're now going into a more exciting phase where I think that we'll be doing bigger projects together, perhaps some storage on the Eden Project site and uh, Good Energy have recently sponsored our event for today which is um, Energy Island. Energy Island is a project that uh, we've developed in partnership with Borough Happel, the engineers. Essentially it's a concept to help us think about the energy system in Cornwall and how we can retain more um, benefits from Cornwall's extraordinary renewable energy resources. Cornwall is really important for us because a large number of generators are located in the southwest. Uh, we've got three solar farms in Cornwall. Uh, the closest one to us today is Carlogus, which is just outside St. Orsville. Local has always been a really important part of what we do, and local energy makes sense. It's a much more efficient way of using electricity. Uh, it helps to engage communities and also keeps money in the local economy. There are several archetypes put forward for local supply. And in 2015, we partnered with a company called Open Utility to trial Piclo. Now, Piclo is a peer-to-peer -peer energy matching platform which allows customers and generators to buy and sell their electricity directly. We commercialised Piclo and launched it as Electricity in November 2016. And the Eden Project, where we are today, are one of the customers of ours who benefit from using it. In fact, around 20% of those people on the trial uh, came from the Cornish area. And we see Electricity as an enabler of the Cornish energy island. If there's been one development in the industry since 2015 when the first Cornish Energy Island workshop took place that has shown that a Cornish Energy Island is feasible, it must surely be energy storage. Last year, the UK pioneered its enhanced frequency response tender, which was won entirely by battery storage projects, and those projects came online at about half the rate that was being initially anticipated. 